I had a shooting go on one night with me. And you know, by the grace of God, I made it through it. Mm -hmm. But it was just how, how raw it was out here. You know how it is out here. You know, nighttime, is, it goes down. Every man for himself. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it was really hell back then. But we come from all that, man. I'm just glad to be able to be walking back through here and say, and talk about the things that I have accomplished from here. And one thing about my city, man, it's just, man, I, my city, man, we really searching for our identity, man. You feel what I'm saying? We used to be, and you can ask about, you can ask goddamn it, Birdman, Lil Wayne, all that shit. We, we part of the reason we put them on, us in Louisville, Kentucky. You feel what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. well, this was a motherfucking balling city, man. Plenty of dope money. That's why we call it Cashville. You feel what I'm saying? And, um, uh, one thing about my city, though, man, niggas need to stop being some motherfucking followers. Y'all need to put Riding down here with that old sucker ass shit. There's too much sucker shit going on. All that snitching, all that bitch ass shit. We need to get back to our roots, man. You yeah. feel me? We need to get back to what the fuck we represent, man. We need to get this money, man. Keep that shit gangster. Live, man. You feel me? This shit have money to the bridge rules. But it's still the hood, you feel me? Nigga yeah, been running through this stomping ground since a yeah, puppet. Yeah, yeah. Shit, they tore a lot of hoods down out here. Yeah, they tore the whole hood down. You feel me? These yeah, loud bricks. You feel me? They were bricks. Now it's colorful. Now it's colorful. You feel me? But we won't talk about that first. And it's still about that gangster shit over here. Just because you see these colors on, don't still think a nigga won't get his ass fired up. Got them coming through here. Wolf Avenue, Charles E. Nah, that used to be, that, that, that's, that's the, the gun line, that's the gun line, boss. That's the strip. This J.C. Yeah. Napier, up there, University Court, that's we call it UC, oh, we used to call it the White Project, you hear me? Man, you cross that street right there, we used to beef that one street. Yeah. You used to same, separate same gun hood, line. Yeah. Same hood, man. Back, back in the, see, before all the gang banging and everything else, man, we come, we come from a whole different generation of neighborhoods. Like, we from outside. We J.C. Yeah. Napier, we J.C. Napier OGs, you know what I mean? We from down low. We got people from up top. That's what we call the University Court. You see JC down low up top. There's plenty of names for it, man. But you know, this is this is where we come from, man. We come from nothing. Yeah. We are South, man. South Ash, up top. This is very spilling for us. Prison talking, no resistance. Prison talking, no resistance. Nowadays, police killing motherfuckers for assistance. Government assistance. Fuck that, nigga. You can be a house, nigga. I'm a bus back, nigga. All I see is hate, what a love, that nigga. You just fucking is sucking, what my hugs at, sister? You got west side, you got south side. This the east side, you got the north side. You feel me? I got, I got, I fuck with people on four sides, you feel me? I got niggas right. out west, I got niggas out north. I got niggas on that south side. I got niggas that got niggas doing. Oh man, my, my side, man, my side funky. Nah, it's funky. We the first product that got to tow down. I'm talking about real bodies. We finding bodies. Walking and little kids and shit. You know what I mean? A lot of niggas in my hood done died. That part. But I wish it like a, like a, uh, it's like a whole different, like, city. We got our own, we talk different than everything right there. Nah, they love that lingo and shit. They love how they Like, if you hear somebody t t talking to you from out, you can tell you from out here. Mm -hmm. Just by how you talk to you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, right now, though, we on Big Run, though. I'm a East Nashville nigga, man. South Bay Mafia, man. To the day I die, man. Mm -hmm. I represent, man. Shelby Street Boys, man. Oh, okay. East Side thing, man. We get it in to the day we die, baby. Nashville, Tennessee, baby. We on the map. I feel. First 48 ain't, hey, they ain't got shit on us down here. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, yeah, my niggas over there. <laughs> yeah, in the trench. Yeah. I wish, you know, I wish it wasn't late night. You know what I mean? Where it's, so I can, I can show you how they put the walls up around the projects and try to say that it's a sign, you know, that it's noise complaints or whatever. So they put like from the interstate, like yeah, on, dude, man, we, talking about we, that. We, like we create, we created yeah. the rugs. We the ones that caused the noise. You know what I mean? We ain't had nothing but these bricks, so we might throw a house party, anything. Like we're not complaining about no noise, man. Man, this Lewis Street, that's Lewis Street. It's Lewis Street, man. That's LSD, man. It's Lewis Street Capit, to drive, man. man. For real. This is where murder happened. Murder campus. Hey, look, man. It's like anybody else, man. Motherfucker be the first. Living off welfare. You know what I'm saying? It really happened with their situation, man. Hey, 
We had more people move. We had 20,000 people move here in the month of March alone. Our city is growing. The city getting so crazy. We don't see that too downtown. They basically built all new stuff. Yeah. So much more money from here and call it the LA of the South, you know? Exactly. So, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a lot of money out here, man. It's just about uh, getting people to, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's just, you know what I mean? You know how it go. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of patched off, you know what I mean? But when more of our people kind of get start coming up, you know what I mean? You know, with, with, with how it's going, they trying to tear down everything that they can. Kids, huh? Yeah, it is. What's up? What's up, pretty lady? Hello. What's up, little man? How y'all doing? <laughs> yeah, I think they're going to tear these down eventually. You know, they rebuilding over, over a lot of the urban areas. Yeah, I've seen that all today. They rebuilding over, over a lot of the urban areas. And they having the people that live in the urban areas sending them out to Antioch on okay. the outskirts of Nashville. We live in the city. You know, they're trying to make the city more comfortable and safe. Yeah, Antioch, man, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like the ball with here. It was okay. in Nashville. It was like the young, at one point, it was like the young urban professional, like black, you know what I'm saying? Like urban professional, they was moving out here, so you know. Like, our, our parents and stuff like that, they was like people that went to college and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, but it's still a hood, though, like, you know, like, it's still a hood, like, it's where all the right. black people get, you feel me? So this kind of extension of South Nashville, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And areas like this have come up, too. This was really one of the most prominent areas in the city at one point. So you see, that's Hickory Hollow Mall right over there. They just shut this down, they just shut that down, made it like a gym or something, so at least they gave back to the community. It's like a community college and a gym and shit like that. You know, they got the carnival going on right there, you know. Uh, my old high school right up the road, you know what I mean? Uh, it's like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's cool, man. It's Antioch, man, it's cool. Man. This is home to people. Right. You know what I mean? This is home, man. Some people, you know, they, that's how they manage, man. This is, we manage what we got. That's one thing us as black people have always did, is make away with what we got. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what it is, man. I don't, I don't like this shit, no, hell no. They doing something for the, uh, the kids in the uh, community center. Yeah, dude. Real street shit, real niggas do real things, man. Shout out to my nigga Trey A, Young T, you feel me? Man, it's talent, man. So much talent down here in this city, man. They just sleeping on it, man. Community center, man. The old center was down there. That's the new center. But everything's still, you feel me? Still history. the same. History, everything history, you feel me? Me and the center, they come kick it. You feel me? We got everybody, we got them, and they got doing it all. Like I said, they ain't have hooping this shit now. You feel me? This is a league out here. And just doing it for the hood, just something for the hood and the communities to come together, stop the violence, you know what I'm saying, do it for the kids, come out let the kids have fun, real niggas link up, and we got them do our own push. When we used to have our block party, we wouldn't cause no problem, you might have a nigga that got a beef with the next nigga, and that, that might go down, but it really ain't got nothing to do with what we got going on, they just happen to run into each other at the same place, but like, that's the reason why the shit fucked up. Like we come from Boy Scouts and everything else, you know what I mean? From mm -hmm. my grandma and his mom and them trying to keep us out of shit. But that's the reason why the youth fucked up. There ain't no guidance, man. Y'all took everything from these kids. Loving this street really shit, man. Like, if it wasn't for this you fuck dude right here, man, I probably wouldn't even do what I'm doing, doing having the shit I'm doing. So, man, big shout out to him, man. That's, that's one of the big shout outs. I got another one. This my king, though, first born, so. You feel me? Gotta show him how to goddamn it, keep his mind straight, even when shit real, you feel me? Stay yeah. focused and do you, you feel me? Don't be the follow bill leader, you feel me? Real shit. All these killings and shit going on out here. You know what I mean? wild out here now. Yeah. They ain't yep. got no guidance, man. They lost. Yeah, yeah. That's why we try to give them something to look forward to and be an example for the neighborhood, for the community. You know what I'm saying? When they do hear about who I am and what I did and the things I accomplished. Mm -hmm. 
it was for Cashville and it's the show. I come from right here where they at. You know what I'm saying? Right yeah, out here yeah. with them. Yeah. And just an example to show them, man, you can come straight from right here and go get it, man. This should be your drive. This is your gas and your tank. Yeah, it is. You feel what I'm saying? You get away from it. But I never get away from it because it sent me. And I'm glad because it taught me mm -hmm. the boundaries of life. Hopefully change the scope. A lot of our young people, you know, a lot, I got a lot of homies died of senseless violence, you know how that shit go. I'll be trying to bring positivity, peace, and light to the city. You know what I mean? That's what I'm about. This, it's the maturation of the, of the man, you know, and preservation of our culture. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. That's it. That's it, man. None of that silly shit, for real, for real. But I understand it, though. You know, everybody got seasons. Everybody got phases that go through. We, I don't know what. And I can't really judge another black man for how how he's surviving, because we all survive. You know what I mean? But all I can do is just pray for him. When I stand for something, you don't give a call for any motherfucking thing. That's what these suckers out here doing. Calling for anything. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Good man. You young niggas need to stop being so fucking dumb and quit killing each other and fight or do something. Exactly. Y'all niggas, man, y'all just don't realize what y'all doing to y'all self, homie. Because when y'all get my age, there ain't gonna be no more y'all. Y'all gonna be extinct. Yeah. Like this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I don't care, man. Air hood, air hood is the same, man. It's just all in what route you want to take, man, in life, man. I just wanted myself to be, I didn't want this shit the rest of my life, you feel me? This the real deal jungle. Your homeboys, your best friends across you Snakes. For real, homie. And what we could do, this here what we call the concrete jungle, though. You know what I mean? Because these bricks, they stand for something. They finna try to get ready to tell these motherfuckers down, man. Yeah, and, I can't ask some people about this. Yeah, they, if they want to tell them down, man, they tore a bunch of them down, man. I I, I heard uh, Charles Davis fighting for us, though, man. You oh. know, he put the basketball court down that way. Maybe we get a uh, shot down that way in a minute, man, because that's a historical landmark, man. Dude done did so much for us, so, you know, shout out to Charles Davis, man. He got his own street. Charles E. Davis Boulevard. I'm a damn little no, every role in these projects, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm for real, for real, I'm not here, but I'm not saying that. I'm gonna elevate myself. You know what I'm saying? They understand that. That's why they love me, man. I'm different, man. I don't even tell them to keep fucking up and keep doing that. Oh, it's man. Oh, my God. It, yeah, it's let... changed, you feel me? Yeah. Look, you feel yeah, me? A lot of niggas don't keep it oh solid, but God. the few that still solid, get what? We still oh, want, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. might spread around, but at any given time or any time, like, can't yeah. 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 shit, the comedy shit going down today, yeah. support. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? I ain't got nothing to do to be up here, but I'm coming to support the big dog, yeah. the OGs, yeah. who yeah. watch me grow up. We done caused so much hell out here, and the old heads ain't caused so much hell out here, it's like, now this generation lost, like we we got to do something about it, cause the problem we created, cause mm -hmm. they try to keep us off the block. We still ended up, and we were so driven by that money because we come from nothing. Man. When the little homies wanted to get in positions, like shit, I would rather you come fuck with me than go fuck with the next nigga who might fuck you over. Like so that. we pulled them in. You know, we create, we help create this mess, so it's on us to try to do something about it. But like, it's fucked up out here, man. Man, There's a lot see, of lost souls running around. See, see this jungle, man, and in the jungle, man, it's, it's about morals and codes, man. See these youngsters, man, they, they didn't grow up on the same mor morals and codes as we did. You know what I'm saying? You had to get approved to come off that porch, you feel me, to grab that pack. Now, and, and, and nowadays, the game's fucked up because you can just get a pack, man, and get out there and, and do what you want yeah. to. It's different morals and codes. It, it's really rules to this shit that they, they don't follow by, you feel me? The reason why I'm able to go the route I am, you know what I'm saying, come from the same slum. You know what I'm saying? Why well, call myself I'm a slum lord, you feel me? I'm king of this shit, because see, I could have went either way. You know what I mean? But I had morals and codes. OGs, you know what I'm saying? Show me how to get money in all kinds of ways. Man, if I could change something about the city, man, it would be there. You don't fucking stop dancing so much fire. Stop being so fucking gay with each other. Stop hating. Stop being all clicked up with this rap shit. That shit lame. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stop acting. A lot of you niggas acting, man. A lot of y'all favorite rappers, especially if it's a nigga from my city. Nigga, he probably ain't done what the fuck he said he done done. If he done made the beat. Because all the real niggas don't ever get a real shot. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's real talk, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna get my shot. I'm taking my shot. I gotta say, man, back to the music, man. Some positive shit, man. But you know, it's so much unnoticed talent because of the country music shit, man. And people come to Nashville and they be like, damn, it's black people here. Yeah, like we here. As much as they try to hide us, man, they don't want us here. 
They want to kick us out of our own homes and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, man. It's the South, man. You know, you got to make that truck bang. Okay. You know, we got a little jig, man. Now, it's Tennessee in itself just got a little jig. You know what I mean? Once you understand the jig, you know what I mean? You got to keep it. You can get your partner's head. Homicide, closed case. I promise you won't find a lick. All tops and reading. He got fired up and they didn't miss. Another mama crying. us on a victim to this bullshit. One in the chamber plus bananas. That's a wrangle. It's going down in Cashville. It's a mushroom. Keep a bang. Bro, I got the 40 with the dick and the beans. So you pussy ass niggas, y'all can't hide. I see in this bitch like KY. I'm a shot to his neck, no bow tie. Put the numbers on his head, no bow tie. I got a nigga down with the four five. I'm a nigga straight dumb, I don't know why. Man, that Kush got a nigga like Pro High. I started the Pioneer. Mm -hmm. Basically, you know, Cool Daddy Fresh, Greenway, Quantic Cash, Pistol. Pistol got signed at Easy You know what I'm saying? Um, Buggy. Definitely Buggy. Um, I mean, you know, as well as some, some others, you know what I'm saying? It was all for one push for cash. Really. So they jumped it off, and you know, me and Buck just kind of took it to another level. Big Blue. Tone Gaddafi. You cannot forget Big Blue. You know what I mean? You cannot forget Big Blue. Not at all. Because he, he, like, D, by the time D, like, DT and Buck had took off, and, you know, they took off young teenagers, like, you know, when we first started fucking with the music, you know, we was teenagers. Yeah. But they took off as teenagers, and, like, Big Lou was still here, you know, mm -hmm. putting it down. Thorough. So, like, Real he was pulling us to the side, like, you know, we ain't get that guidance from Buck and them or nothing. There ain't no disrespect or nothing, you know, nothing sideways, but that's just who was right here with us. You know what I mean? Pistol, he got signed with EZ. Yeah, and man. then, yeah, shout out to Pistol, man, P. Gates, man. He's still doing this thing, man. I heard homie got a lot of major shit, liquor endorsements and shit of his own going on. Bro, just don't be in the limelight like that no more. But P. Gates, you know what I mean? Used to be signing the Ruthless Records, easy E, man. Like, Nashville, Cashville, been on the map. Man, can't forget about Lido, Buck, niggas who, goddamn it, put on for the city. Mm -hmm. other, other artists who I watch and who I grew up listening to inspire me to do what's better, you feel me? Take the negative and let's flip it to the positive. But well, the nigga trying to reconstruct everything, because them niggas who, who did it before me, man, them niggas ain't do it right, homie. You feel what I'm saying? Really, Nashville was the first one. We were the first niggas to have niggas who had really brick money. And, you know what I'm saying? Sponsoring labels and everything with dope money and rapping about it and actually good. First G I, the first G's or T.I. went from Atlanta, from down here, nigga. Big Blue Pilsner. Rollo B, you feel what I'm saying?